Hey, this is Jeff, and we are here with USP Pro. In this video, I want to share some tips for the USP form shortcodes, the shortcodes that are used to display the forms on posts and pages. Here we see the shortcodes for each demo form and the ID for each of these shortcodes is the same as the permalink slug, this part of the form URL here. So this last part, contact, if we scroll down, is the same as the form ID. So that's where these forms here are getting their information for their shortcodes. So the permalink slug here is starter, here it's classic, preview, and so forth. And let's take one more look. Here we have submit is the permalink uh, slug, and here is submit used as the form ID. So what happens then if this is changed for whatever reason? Let's say that something is renamed or something is updated, or maybe this was accidentally changed directly. In this case, the slug is not going to match up with the form ID, and the form won't be displayed. So in order to fix that, we just simply need to update this as well so it matches. And that takes care of that. Now we go out here and we see that the ID is submit post, which is correct because the permalink slug is submit post. So that's the first tip. The second tip is a way to create the shortcode um, without relying on the permalink slug. It's possible to use the numerical form ID. So right now I'm hovering over the edit link for this form, and if you look in the lower left corner of the browser, you will see the URL for this uh, to edit this form. And in that URL, you will see a number. That number is the form ID. So for this form, the uh, numerical ID is 1148. And using that, we can display this form on any post or page. So first we will display the form using the correct uh, permalink slug. So we're using the slug here. We have updated the form. We click view page and we see that it does not work and that is because the form is not yet published. If we were to publish the form and refresh this page the form would be displayed but I want to show you that if we use the what was it 1148 the form ID like so 1148 and click update and then refresh the page we see the form is displayed so the lesson here is that if we use the form ID for the shortcode then the form does not have to be published otherwise if we use the permalink slug in the shortcode then the form needs to be published so let's take a look at that here we have the page, and let's return it to post or submit post. Submit post, and click update. And again, we refresh the page, and the form disappears. So that is because the form is in draft status, and we are using the permalink slug for the form ID. So to fix, we can go in and publish the form. And now refresh the page, and we see the form is displayed. And the other way to fix it, as we just saw, is to leave the form in draft status, or it can be in published status, it doesn't matter, but to use the form ID, which in this case is 1148. So now the form is in draft status, 
and we're going to change this to 1148 and click update and now we see that the form is still displayed so that is the trick if we use the form ID then the form does not need to be published if we use the form permalink slug then the form needs to be published now how do we get the short code to be a an ID listed here we've already seen that we can use the use the ID outside on any poster page but what about here in the on the USP form screen how do we make this the form ID well we do that by clicking add new and then instead of clicking publish we click save draft if we click publish right here we see that the permalink slug is used just as it is used for these other short codes but now if we go in and create a new form and then click save draft then we have the form ID the numerical ID so that is the trick there if you want to leave your forms in draft status for whatever reason then save them right away when you first create the form save it as a draft and the uh, numerical ID will be used and the benefit of this is that this will work in draft status the short code will work when the form is in draft status and the second benefit is that we can change this to we can change the permalink slug for the form and because we're using the ID this change we can change this to whatever we want so we click that and now head over and see if the form is still displayed and it is see here is the page using the ID and it's displayed just fine so that's pretty much what I wanted to share in this video just that uh, there are differences between the ID the form IDs and some of the things that are involved with that so I hope this has been useful thank you for watching and stay tuned